In this episode of Need to Know Influencer Marketing, we're going to talk about the Amazon Influencer Marketing Program that's being so hyped in the e-commerce space and also talk about Snapchat losing $2.2 billion. Hello, Marketing Fanatics. I'm Mark Fidelman of Fanatics Media, marketing that influences. Joining me is Gil Ayal, CEO of Hyper. Welcome, Gil. Hey, Mark. Thanks for having me. Likewise. So let's just jump right into it. The Amazon Influencer Program, is this a big winner or is this a big loser in your mind or somewhere in between? I think it could be a big winner for Amazon, but I don't think it's a big difference maker in the industry. There's no technology here. This is their affiliate program. I wouldn't put it past uh, Amazon to have something big up their sleeve, but so far they haven't exposed it. It just seems like a pretty regular uh, e-commerce solution that allows influencers to sell through their channels. We do a lot with Amazon. I know some people that work in the influencer program. I know there's something in the works. I can't get out of them what that is, but I agree. It's just dressing up their affiliate program. Hey guys, all right, let's get to it. Here is the before of the closet that I share with my husband. It is a total mess of pre-baby, maternity clothes, and everything in between having three kids in six years. So when Presley came home with this clothing drive flyer for charity, I knew that it was finally time to tackle this closet, and we did it in one day. I think the best analogy is you you know, they have a car and they just threw a new paint job on it and they're calling it an influencer marketing program. But at this point, I don't see it. It's still the affiliate program. So for now, I think it's a wait and see. But you know Amazon, they're going to come up with something that's brilliant and I think that'll work. And if it doesn't work out of the, uh, out of the gate, they'll figure it out over time. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree. I think the one thing that's interesting about this program is it actually um, uncovers anybody who's a fake influencer. Because you either sell or you don't sell. So you can buy all the fake likes and all the fake followers, but if you can't sell, you're not going to make any money in this program. So from that perspective, it's actually really interesting, and I think the industry is moving in that direction. Yeah. Uh, um, And it may be an early bird in what we'll be seeing other influencer marketing companies do later. Yeah, I mean, the last thing I'll talk about is attribution. I mean, influencer marketing attribution is very difficult for most uh, campaigns that are run. We do our best to kind of attribute what's working, what's not. But with Amazon, I think they can make it pretty succinct, especially if you're buying off of Amazon you know, what the attribution and where it came from. So from that perspective, I like the promise, but right now, not a lot there. Let's go to Snapchat losing $2.2 billion. Are you kidding me? This is the biggest social media IPO since Twitter. Unfortunately for Snapchat, we now know it only has about 158 million daily users. Twitter is estimated to have about the same, and they've been pummeled on the stock market. And Facebook, 1.2 billion users. Now, even though Snapchat is still growing, it's actually adding fewer and fewer users each month. Well, the opposite of Amazon that's uh, run like a well-oiled machine, this is a whole mess. Um, And I think uh, the biggest challenge is that they just don't make enough money per user. And um, they haven't really demonstrated a way to do that. Um, From an influencer perspective, they've done everything they can to alienate influencers. They don't let them see how many followers they have. They don't let them see how many views they get. It just makes it really hard. And then Facebook's doing... Uh, the same thing that you do, but much better and much more user-friendly, and it's no surprise that people are going that direction. Yeah, I think we might be sh- uh, speaking for the same set of notes, uh, but you know, I've, I've, I've done a video on this, Snapchat's a marketing loser, you can see it in the, uh, the show notes. I think they're just a confederacy of marketing mishaps. I mean, they don't do anything for marketers right. It's all user-focused, which is fine, I think, out of the gate, but when you're a publicly traded company and you're not appealing to marketers like Facebook and Instagram are, uh, you're not going to win. It, it, it's, it still makes me sad to think there are marketers out there still promoting Snapchat over Instagram and Facebook. There is no comparison for marketers. I can see from an end user's point of view, but there just simply isn't any comparison. They don't understand influencers, and they certainly don't understand marketers. And unless that changes, I'd sell their stock today. I'm not, I'm not an expert on stock. I don't know if it's going to go up or down, but I can tell you I, it's probably a great user experience. I don't get it. Um, but from an advertiser's perspective, we, we've gone past the point where you could just sell hype. Now you want to see metrics. Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, every single other social network is doing everything they can to externalize analytics that help you understand how valuable advertising is on their platform. Snapchat hasn't done anything to show me that there's any return on investing there and we don't recommend people do it all right so with that Gil I want to thank you so much for appearing on the show 
Again, Hyper is a sponsor of ours. You can go to hyperbrands.com. You can probably see it right here. Also, we recommend Hyper if you're looking for any kind of influencers that are out there. They're multi-channel. They're easy. They produce these wonderful reports. You can see it above Gil's head. So with that, Gil, uh, until next week. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you.